Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a soda can dip pen or folded nib pen from using only household items. Also, at the end of the video, I'm going to go ahead and test the nib and do a little bit of writing sample. So make sure you stay till the end. So pretty much what you're going to need is some tape. You're going to need a tape measure. You're going to need some scissors. You're going to need the can, you're going to need Sharpie, a pencil, and some sandpaper. I like uh, 400 grit and then 600 grit to make it real nice and fine. So we're going to kind of put these to the side and go ahead and get started with the can. So pretty much what you're going to want to do is cut off the top of the can. As you can see and it doesn't matter if it's kind of bad we'll, we'll straighten it out later on so that's the top and then what you're gonna want to do now is go ahead and cut straight down the middle and then cut the bottom piece of the can Make sure you're kind of careful because it can get pretty sharp. And again, if it doesn't really matter if you're uneven because we're going to straighten it out later. So now that you have the center piece of the can, what you're going to want to do is eat, kind of put the two flaps together and then just cut halfway down the middle. Now you have two pieces to work with and then now what we're going to do is clean the edges. So as you can see there was a lot of jagged edges and we're just going to clean those off. So just go in a straight line. Again with the other side. So straight line. Okay. That's one. And now the next. Straight down. The other side. Okay, now we have two pretty straight pieces. So now what we're gonna do is put the scissors aside for a little bit and use the Sharpie and the tape measure. So what we're gonna wanna do is cut the vertical line of the nibs that we're gonna create. And so you're gonna start by finding the, the side that's the most straight. So as you can see here, we have kind of a angled side. This side is a lot straighter. And so this is gonna be the side that I want. And we're gonna measure from top to bottom, two and one eighth inches, or you can do two and a quarter inches depending on how thick your pencil is. So if you have a thin pencil like me, um, two and one eighth is fine, but if you have something like, let's say you're using, I don't know, a marker or something thicker than this, then I would go two and a quarter. Um, but for right now, like I said, I'm just gonna do two and an eighth. So right here, mark it. And I kind of want to mark it throughout the whole sheet because I'm gonna cut alongside the whole just cut that whole piece off. So there, and then one more over here. Okay. Let's 
So for right now, we're just gonna do one sheet. You can do the same thing for the other sheet. These are essentially the same templates. Um, for right now, for video purposes, we're just gonna do this one sheet. And so we just cut down this main line. Again, now you want to try to make sure that you're actually cutting straight because now we're getting to the actual nib. Now that you have that cut, this is two and one eighth. Um, we're gonna start measuring the actual nibs that we're gonna create. And so that's gonna be the horizontal measurements. And for the horizontal, we're just gonna measure again, one and one eighth or one and a quarter, I mean one and yeah, one and a quarter if you're doing a, a thicker pencil. But since I'm doing a thin one, I'm just doing one and one eighth right there. And go on to the next one right there. And the last one. So you can get three nibs from each of these sheets. So in total from one can, you can get six different nibs doesn't matter if you do the one and a quarter or one and an eighth, it, you still get the three nibs. So that's good. Now that we have the three nibs, we're just gonna cut them off. And you wanna do it in, a, in one single cut. You don't wanna do multiple cuts. So the bigger the scissors you have, the better because you're gonna be able to just do that single cut another nib right here straight single cut and then this is the final nib we just end up cutting a little extra and there we go those are your three main nibs that we created right here again you can do that with this sheet right here so you can do it another time and get three extra nibs but we're just gonna use these three for now and this is the one we're gonna use. So put these aside. So we're gonna want to kind of place the pencil that we're gonna be using right in the center. And pretty much what you're gonna wanna do is just mark a little a little spot in the, med in the middle of the whole sheet. So right, I would say somewhere right here and somewhere right here is the middle. And all we're gonna do is kind of from the middle do a line downwards and then straight to the bottom kind of like if you're tracing the pencil but give it a, a lot of room so again downwards just like that and it doesn't have to be perfect this is just to give me a guideline of where to cut and now all i'm gonna do is just cut in that angle so sideways there we go and then cut it off again you don't want to do multiple cuts just the least amount of cuts the better all right and this is what you're gonna be left with okay and so essentially what you're gonna want to do now I would get my tape ready um and pretty much you're gonna wanna place your pencil right in the center and kind of fold the whole nib around that pencil. And as you're folding, you're gonna wanna start squeezing higher and higher. I wouldn't squeeze down here too much. I would do more of the top edges because you want it to close on, on itself pretty much, surround the whole pencil. And so just massage it. Don't do very heavy just squeezes, but just massage the whole edge and just make sure it, it really surrounds the pencil, right? So I'm happy with that. Grab your tape, place it right at the edge and just start wrapping it around. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. And then keep in mind the different types of, the tape is gonna be essentially your grip section. So I guess you can decide to get, you know, squishier tape. I've seen some people use um, the tennis racket tape 
and it becomes like a little squishy kind of grip section uh, so it just depends what tape you end up using but I'm just using a painters tape that works good for me and we're almost done so now what you're gonna end up doing is pretty much cutting the extra material that's on this nib and again I would kind of keep massaging it keep kind of squeezing it and don't try to squeeze up here a lot and just do the edges the bottom edges and just squeeze that material and if you have to go to the top of this edge and squeeze that a little once you kind of have it pretty pretty straight um i would go ahead grab the scissors and this part is just personal preference so it's all going to depend on what you want but pretty much you're going to do a cut just cut the whole edge either you can do it like a knife or you can make different angles it just depends on what you want so the more you do these the more you're gonna start getting the different angles down um, but I'm just gonna do a basic just knife kind of cut all right that's nice and again if you mess up your nib it's okay because like I said for each can you can get six different nibs so you can always start over six nibs to try and um and they're free essentially if you already have cans uh you can make as much nibs as you want so now that this is pretty much done this is your main nib this is what you're going to be writing with but to finish it off we're going to want to sand and that's a uh the sanding is a very important piece of making th these nibs and a lot of people end up just skipping them for some reason but we're gonna start off sanding um i would just recommend a 400 grit and then a 600 grit a lot of people also just use a 400 grit never use a 600 and then they have very scratchy nibs so i think the best way to make these nibs is a 400 then a 600 600 to finish that like polishing off and then the 400 is going to be to remove the the extra material so we're going to start now what i like to do is kind of go straight and just get that real real soft especially since i'm a left-handed rider i do a lot of pushing and so because of that i do need that push motion to be very soft and then we're also going to do side side motions so it's just common sense like just make sure you grab your nib and do the motions that you do your writing in and and those same motions that you do for example if i grab and i'm doing an n I would probably do a lot of ends on here just to make sure that motion is really soft. And then do side motions as well. And so essentially all you're doing is just polishing it off, getting all those very hard rough edges out of the way. Just making your writing experience a lot smoother so yeah as you can see we already have a nice little smooth kind of writing surface all right and it's important that you actually check your nib you want both sheets of aluminum to be touching each other so you want uh, contact with each other but you also want a little kind of air pocket on the tip right on the tip there's going to be a little hole and that's where all the ink is going to pretty much be stored also right under it's going to be stored and so you want that connection between the the aluminum which we have so that's good and i think i'm ready for the 600 grit And yeah, I already feel this is really, really smooth. So, 
and you can always come back so you don't have to do all this grinding right now you you can always kind of test it out test it out uh wash it do a little more sanding all right i'm pretty happy with the nib and now all we have to do is just test it out so let's go ahead and test this out here's the paper the ink that we're going to be using is Winston and Newton blue so it's kind of like a light bluish color and these are drawing inks uh, but they work really well for calligraphy as well so that's what we're going to use make sure you get yourself some paper towels all right let's see all right there you go and if you like this video or found this video useful please make sure you give this video a like and consider subscribing thanks